Hello, beautiful people. Shalom. Salam. Hola. And many, many more. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing all right. I hope you guys are doing amazing, actually. Because, yeah, even though all kinds of crazy things in the world, we know, as I say all the time, we know the king is returning soon. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> I am. Um, yeah, which, okay, so what I'm going to share actually is something I wrote kind of in, in regards to that. It is in regards to that. Um, I, I wrote it, put it on my Facebook page, which I'm more active on now these days than YouTube. It's just easier for me that way, easier access. Mm, probably mostly because of the phone situation I've got going on. Um, so who knows, eventually I might be more active on YouTube um, and other social media. But uh, So I'm going to go ahead and read to you for those who are not on Facebook. And by the way, you're not missing anything because there's a bunch of stuff on Facebook that's not so good. Um, right? Lots of weird stuff. Of course, you can find some pretty weird stuff on YouTube. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, so this is what I wrote. Um, and I do pray it blesses you. I believed it was, I, I do believe it was prompted by the Holy Spirit. And so I just, yeah, I want to share it with you all. So the post, what I wrote, it says, I'm not ignoring the things happening in Israel and the world, but I do find that one of the best ways to be strong for others is to not let the mind be overwhelmed by horror. I hear what's happening and I know the horrors, but I don't dwell on it so that my mind stays strong and set on the task at hand to survive and to be strong for myself and others. Perhaps even to be mentally prepared when the terror comes to my own door, so to speak. And what many fail to see and know is that whatever happens to Israel will affect the entire world. This year, I want to do more music, not just because I love it, but because the music is a message of hope in these times and also the music to win war, both in physical and spiritual realm. The harp is an instrument of war. It was an instrument created by playing on the strings of a bow and arrow. It is the instrument heavily written of in the Bible and the one instrument written for both existing in this world and the world to come. So when I sing and play the harp, it is more than just the music now and in the moment of what is seen by the naked eye, but also for what is not seen and still happening in a very tangible way. The battle of good against evil is not won by weapons we can touch, but by fighting in the spiritual realm. As things grow dark in this world, do not underestimate the power of God being lifted up in worship music. Sing with all your might. Play your instrument with all your heart. Dance with all your soul. The King returns soon. Amen. And then I also shared this, I have a picture of uh, my harp, and then I shared this too, below that. Sorry, I'm trying to see what I got here. Um, this is from Second Chronicles 20, 20, or Second Chronicles chapter 20, verses 21 through 23. After consulting with the people, he, this is King Jehoshaphat, appointed those who would sing to Adonai and praise the splendor of his holiness as they went out ahead of the army, saying, Give thanks to Adonai, for his grace continues forever. And some translations say endures forever. Then during the time when they were singing and praising, Adonai brought a surprise attack against the people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, who had come to fight Jehuda, and they were defeated. What happened was the people of Ammon and Moab began attacking these people who live by Mount Seir to kill and destroy them completely. And when they had finished off the people from Seir, they set to work slaughtering one another. Confusion. So, and this I also last commented, I cannot help but think that the surprise attack were the angels of God who heard the worship music. We are about to see miracles again in the earth as like in ancient times. I mean, it is written that the angels will come and minister on the earth in the last days. 
Who is to say they will not also fight to help God's people? Amen. <laughs> so I pray you take that to heart. Um, uh, because things have gotten pretty bad. Um, here in, in the USA, I think a lot of people go about their lives like everything's okay, but there's still that unsettling feeling knowing something is not quite right. But again, for those of us who do believe in the Messiah and his word and his truth and who he is, we're aware of the times and we know that the Savior, the Redeemer, is coming back, manifesting himself physically soon. Um, that's pretty exciting. <laughs> um, it is exciting. But if you don't believe in him, I can see how it would be a very scary time, an overwhelming time. Um, and it's not to say that things for people who love God are going to be hunky. What's the phrase? Hunky dory? <laughs> um, it's not going to be amazing. Um, but, you know, there's just that peace knowing that no matter how bad it gets, God's still in control. It's going to be okay. Even if our life is taken, it's still okay because God has our souls. I mean, he can raise people from the dead. Um, he does that sort of thing. Um, that actually still happens today. Um, I, I hear about it from missionary stories. You know, God is the same God in ancient times as he is today. So there's still miracles of people coming to life again. Um, and he, he can do that. But also raise up his people in the life to come too. And I know, I know I'm going to see my mom there and uh, other people who, who have loved the Lord and have gone on there ahead of me. Um, yeah, so real quick before I wrap this up, just want to say again, thank you to all those of you who have prayed and supported me over the years, over the time. Um, it was a huge, awesome thing that happened to Carnegie Hall. I'm still just kind of like, did that really happen? <laughs> um, there's just so much to be said about that. And I guess I've definitely written more about it than obviously shared here. Um, I'm, I said so many times I wasn't going to share on this channel anymore. And I don't know this again, you know, this might be my last video here. I just decided that rather than announce it, I'll just, however things go, I'll just let them be. But I do have that new channel, Forever 33, and my music channel. So there's that. I love you all. Shalom, shalom. For the Gregorian calendar, Happy New Year. Hope you had awesome holidays. And uh, rejoice for our king draws near. Shalom, shalom. Love you guys.